What's good, everybody? Hope everyone's having a wonderful night, morning, or afternoon, wherever you're at. Um, in this video, I wanted to talk about how to overcome anxiety and fear and just overall just have more self-confidence in yourself. You know, with me, um, I've always been the type of person to, um, you know, I've, I've kind of always been insecure about myself and there have been a lot of things where, you know, I just haven't, I haven't fully accepted, you know, how I've looked or like my appearance and, um, you know, these are some things that have actually helped me um, overcome that, like, you know, fear and, um, um, yeah, just overall anxiety, fear, and, you know, that could be social anxiety too, whatever you're going through. And um, there are actually a few different ways that you, that's, that um, you can partake in this. Um, the first, the one of the most easiest ones is to just stop watching the news. And um, that might sound weird to um, some of you. I've never been the type of person, I haven't really ever watched the news like a lot. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I haven't really been too big on politics. I, um, um, you know, my mom is uh, democratic. But I, would, I don't think I would label myself as any um, either side um, just because uh, I think that that's separation and it's separation from when you label yourself from someone else and you're separating yourself you know I don't um, consider myself you know like yeah I am white but I don't really like say to people like you know I'm white because I, I think race is an illusion anyways um, uh, um yeah, so basically what I wanted to talk about is just like how to basically overcome anxiety. First, stop watching the news. What I mean by that is, um, yeah, just don't, just stop watching the news, period. They, you know what I mean? Like you, like they tell you a whole bunch of like shit that like you, how, how do you know if, if any of that stuff that they're saying is true? You know, and that might be like, oh, well, they're, you know what I mean? They're broadcasting it live and like all this stuff, but it's like, yeah, but like how much of that stuff do you actually know? Like, were you there, you know? And um, and that can be a harsh reality to some people, you know what I mean? And I get that. You see all these shootings on social media and stuff and like, it can be scary, you know? And um, which brings me to my next point. Um, stop watching the news. Stop watching TV in general, really. Um, the news is the biggest thing to cut out though. If you cut out the news and that's like, that's basically over half of like the shit that, you know. But I just say, just stop watching TV. I like to watch sports occasionally, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, and that's fine. Like if you like sports, like go ahead. But, you know, I would just, you just got to question like what you're actually seeing, you know. Because um, you, you, you never know what goes down behind the scenes to, you know, most of the shit that happens. So yeah, um, stop watching, you know, TV because TV, televised programming, what is that? They're programming you to be in fear. They want you to be scared. And when I say they, like whoever created, you know what I mean? Whoever's, whoever's running all these shows, who knows who, you know what I mean? Who knows who is that? Like, like, I don't think any of us do, you know, um, but yeah, it's just all of that stuff is just, it makes you, you know, and don't like you can, you can say like all this stuff, like, yeah, you need to watch the news and all this stuff, but genuinely, how does it make you feel when you actually watch the news? Like, do you feel like happy all the time? Cause most of the shit that's on there isn't even like positive, you know, most of the shit on there is negative. So if that's the case, then why would you want to watch something that's literally make like affecting, like making you feel you know, like that, you know? And um, so yeah, bringing me to my second point, how to overcome anxiety, which kind of ties into um, the news. Um, 
um, yeah, stop. Don't be glued to social media. And what I mean by that is um, don't, you know, don't always be on social media because comparing yourself, that, that, that's also is what making you depressed and it's making you, you know, have anxiety and it's making you have, be self-conscious in yourself. So stop, stop watching, stop being, going on social media as much, cut that shit out. Um, and you, you know, like you can, you can use social media, like it's, it's a really creative tool. Like you can use it for your own benefit, but don't let it consume you, you know, like don't be on it all the time and don't get like all of your information from there. Cause you never know like where they're, you know what I mean? What, what they're doing. Um, so yeah, stop watching the news. Don't go on social media. The third thing to how to overcome fear and anxiety, you have to, you know, I'm not saying that you have to do anything, but I would recommend meditation. And I said this, I brought this up in my last video, but meditation is a 100%. That's like literally the, like one of the most like best ways to, you know, reduce that and like overcome it. You know, um, meditation, taking in deep breaths, you know, closing your eyes, being in a quiet room, start with like five to 10 minutes. I like to go, you know, 20 or 30, but it's all up to you really. Um, it's just, just basically clearing your mind. And when you do that, you, you know, you start to realize that, you know, all the problems that you have, they're so minor and you start to you're literally able to evaluate your own problems, you know? And sometimes that can be like a rude awakening. Like sometimes I, I get that, like you don't wanna, like nobody like initially wants to, you know, or when they don't wanna like, you know, some of people's problems are like really, or it's just like, damn, like they, they really did that like to themselves and they start to realize that and you know, but when you overcome that and start to let it all go, then you know, that's, that's how to reduce anxiety and fear, really. And yes, I'm, I still have anxiety and, and fear and stuff, like obviously, but I'm able to control it. And um, and it's really beneficial to me, really. Um, so yeah, stop watching the news. Stop going on social media as much. Meditate. And, you know, number four, go outside. And what I mean by go outside, take in sun. You know, we were made from nature, really. We are, you know, nature is what, we need nature to survive, you know. Um, and nature is like our best friend. And, um, you know, taking in the sun, that can be a really good way to, to really just, like, you just take a step back and you're just like, damn, like, life is so beautiful. And, um... So yeah, going out outside, um, I like the sun gaze, but you know, that's a whole, like you don't have to do all that. But um, yeah, so I might do a separate video on that. But yeah, so stop watching the news. Don't cut out social media, you know, at least as much as you, you usually watch it. Cause I know we've all been there. It can be addicting, I get that, you know. I've been there. That's why I'm telling you guys this. Like I've, I've literally, I'm, I'm literally just sharing my own experience, you know, and I want to help everyone, each and every one of you guys out. And I've realized that that's my goal and that's my purpose now. So that's what I'm going to do every single day. This is my full-time job. I'm a full-time YouTuber, even though I'm working a shitty nine to five right now. Um, so yeah, stop watching the news, cut out social media. Um, Meditation, one the most important one. Um, actually, no. Very important. Four, get out in nature. Five. You know, I know some of you guys are gonna, you guys aren't gonna like me for saying this, but you have to cut out processed meat. You know, and what do I mean by processed meat? Any meat that you know is not organic and, you know, grass-fed meat, 
and it literally doesn't have the USDA organic logo, you know, and and what do I know, even if it has that logo, you never know where it's like come from really, but you know, yeah, cut out processed meat is literally giving us cancer. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. They're like, oh, like I have like, like there's hella people like getting cancer and stuff. It's mainly, like it's mainly caused from processed meats. And you can look that up too, it's a fact. Like they literally confirmed it, you know? So, um, yeah, it's literally like causing us like to die, like literally. And, um, you know, I don't want to scare you guys or anything, but that's just my my own um, opinion. I just want to I just wanted to come on here and um, try to help you guys out. And I hope you guys aren't scared because there's nothing really to be scared of. Fear is just what we create in our heads, you know. And you know, sometimes the media and social um, the media, you know, televised programming. We are being programmed, you know, the media. Um, the Greek goddess Medea, what was her, you know, one of her biggest traits? She was cunning. You know, um, the media can be really cunning as well, you know, when you go up there. You go on there and you look up, you know, you go on Instagram and you see like, oh wow, she's so beautiful. Or he's so fucking like, he's got a six pack, bro, like I'm trying to get that. It's just like all these unrealistic, like, you know, standards that you set for yourself. It's just... Um, in reality, you just need to be, you know, loving yourself. And um, that's what it comes down to, really. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm getting a little past time. But um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, morning, and night. And, um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Um, thank you for uh, supporting me and coming through. Um, my journey, you know. Um, hello, everyone from 2021. You know, 2022. Um, anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love you guys.